The future of the controversial Triabunna woodchip mill and the Labor Green government this week became intertwined. If the government lends money to a private company to buy the mill from guns, the Greens' Kim Booth is adamant he'll move a no-confidence motion in them. If that's successful, we would be off to the polls. But there are a few hurdles before the money is lent and the government has a seven-week break before Parliament resumes. Many argue that without the Triabunna mill, the forestry industry in southern Tasmania would shut down. A story from our archives shows the questions about woodchipping Tasmania's forests haven't changed much across almost four decades. This story from Weekend magazine in 1972. A vast new forest industry is growing rapidly in Tasmania. The export of wood chips to Japan, where they are used for making paper. Almost any timber is suitable. This means that in an area being cut for wood chips, such as here near the east coast, virtually no tree is left standing. The toll on the bushland is already considerable and will become greater as the export of wood chips grows to meet an apparently insatiable Japanese market. Tasmania Pulp and Forest Holdings, which has a 15-year contract to export 600,000 tonnes a year, believes its operation will continue more or less indefinitely. As much as 3,200 tonnes of logs a day are taken along the Tasman Highway to the mill and export outlet at Triabunna. Wood chips have been produced in Tasmania for more than 30 years, but exports to Japan began only a little more than two years ago from the big mill now in full production at Triabunna. Two bulk ships were built specially for the Tasmania to Japan run. Usually there's a departure once a fortnight, each time with 35,000 tonnes of wood chips. Hit by the rural depression, Tasmanian farmers have grasped at the wood chip industry to make money from timber previously of no value to them. Waste timber from sawmills, worthless until now, is also being processed. Although there's a world oversupply of softwoods for chipping, the company at Triabunna says there is, and probably always will be, a shortage of hardwoods, such as the Tasmanian eucalypts. The logs are quickly reduced to chips at what's claimed to be the world's biggest wood chip export plant. But two other mills in northern Tasmania each have higher export goals and both should be sending wood chips to Japan later this year from a loading terminal near Launceston. At Triabunna, the wood chips go first to a stockpile covering three acres awaiting shipment. The gross value of exports at present is about $8 million a year. When all three companies are operating, the figure will jump to an estimated $28 million, putting wood chips among Tasmania's top exports. Two more companies plan to move into the wood chips boom, so if they get licenses from the federal government, there will then be five companies exporting wood chips from Tasmania. Critics of the industry say that the state's forest resources are being sold too cheaply by the Tasmanian government and that instead of going to Japan, they should be processed locally. Because timber cutting of such magnitude is without precedent in Australia, there are no guidelines to show what happens after large areas are stripped. Once the chainsaw and loaders have finished, the land is burned off. On Crown land, regeneration is guaranteed by law, but not yet on private land, where many Tasmanians feel it should be compulsory. Almost every landowner with bush on his property hopes to become involved in Tasmania's wood chip industry and its valuable export income. But with it go the contentious ingredients, forests destroyed, then revived, and the concern over wildlife. The secretary of the Tasmanian Conservation Trust, Mr Sid Eldridge. Soon there'll be three big wood chip companies operating in Tasmania, taking timber virtually from all areas of the state. Do you think that they're capable of changing the face of the island? I think they probably are capable. I give them more credit than to think that they will change it seriously for the worse, um, because, let's face it, they also are businessmen, and they must keep their eye on the next crop. Uh, I'd like to see the next crop harvested and treated in Tasmania. 
And I think that this is where we've really got to look. What would you expect the situation to be here in, say, 20 or 30 years? Uh, unless there is some way of making sure that the next crop is managed well, I foresee that there will be a lot of private land cleared and not properly reforested. Um, I don't think that the average farmer is such a deal that he can't see the right answer eventually, given the, the right information. I, I don't think that he's a rogue and would not want to, but he's not a forest manager. And uh, I think that maybe there's necessity for, or so much necessity for looking after our forests that it will have to be laid down in black and white. We've seen this, in fact, in this first woodchip bill. There are no provisions for protection, and I think we've got to protect the place.